Governor McKee, or this may be a question for Secretary Pryor, uh, let's talk about housing for a second. Um, the development of the soccer stadium seems to be in full tilt. Uh, meetings are being held this week and next week. It's all about the parking, though. It's all about construction. There's no conversation about housing whatsoever. We've reached out a number of times to uh, to uh, Mayor Grebian, both in joint set appearances with you and separately. Uh, we have yet to get a definitive plan. And now we hear conversations about mobile home housing, which is perhaps the most predatory model of housing that exists in America today for, for a number of reasons, which we'll be happy to bring up tomorrow. Uh, you know, you've got skyrocketing rents in Pawtucket. You know, if, if in fact the train station and the stadium is successful, questionable, but if they're successful, that'll only exacerbate a difficult housing situation. When are there going to be firm proposals to address housing in northern Rhode Island as a result of all this development for, well, wealthy people from out of state? Yeah, so we're, housing is the top priority. We know that there's some federal dollars that have been appropriated for that. There's rental assistance right now. There'll be mortgage assistance, soon, you know, in, in a short period of time. And uh, we plan to come up with a, uh, a housing plan strategy. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Matos has, has, um, has talked about it. I'd love to have her weigh in on it for, for a few, few sentences here as well. But I, I'll tell you right now, people who are looking for housing, uh, a warm bed is a, is a good bed. And, uh, and whatever way that we can make that happen, uh, we will try to make that happen. So I just want to address the mobile home situation. I think you should take some time and go and visit that. Uh, that place is the Sherwood Village in Coventry. It is a um, model place actually for 55 and older community. And it's easy to say that this is a predatory uh, type of housing, but tell that to the people that are sleeping on, an, on, a, on the bridge and they need uh, a place to stay. So housing is gonna require, uh, resolving the problem of housing is gonna require for us to be creative and to be willing to look at every possible alternative. So as of right now, I'm not saying that any style of housing or any of, of is good, is, is bad. I think that they are all, all of them are part of the solution. Well, I just want to point out briefly that there's, isn't there a significant difference between 55 plus dedicated housing and your typical mobile home development? It's, it's difficult to hear an endorsement when in fact nationwide in mobile home housing, you don't ever own the property, uh, and you're subject to all sorts of intransigent landlords, all sorts of difficult conditions. It's just, if that's going to be proposed as a trial solution in absence of anything else, we're in trouble, aren't so, we? I believe you, first of all, should go and do what I did. Go ask questions, learn about the project. If you go and learn about the project, you're going to probably clear a lot of misinformation uh, that you have about it. I'm not endorsing this as the solution. This is a possibility. I'm, I'm learning about it and exploring alternative. Yeah, it's a high priority, and I would say that it continue to be when I was talking to the speaker today about the very issue. So as we get the uh, Secretary of Housing appointed and we keep on moving forward, it's a, we're going we're to have a plan, uh, just like we had a plan to uh, move ahead on the province teacher's contract.